The conflict has been, can we have a non-Islamic state in this land? And that's why you can go to the streets of London and interview all these fanatics protesting. Right? You can go to the Hamas and ask them a simple question. The Hamas is obviously wasn't there in 1920, but it's an heir to that ideology that's been there all along. Right? And you can ask them a simple question. Would you rather option A? The, there's a Palestinian state with full, free, free Palestine. You've got it all free. It's all free. You might even be a liberal democracy if you want that. It can be an Islamic radical state if you want that. Whatever you want, right? In the West Bank, in Gaza, and in take back chunks of it on 1947 borders. Go further than that. Push all the way to the Peel Commission borders. Just one little bit of land that is not under Islamic control. That's option one. Option two, no free Palestine. The Palestinians live under subjugation, but Muslim forces from somewhere else come in and take over the land. Maybe Syria takes the whole thing, or Jordan, or Egypt, or the Arab League, or the rest restoration of the Ottoman Empire. Which would you rather? A free Palestine, but there's a little bit of land in which there's non-Muslim control? Or a non-free Palestine, but there's no non-Muslim control? And without a moment's hesitation, the average guy shrieking and screaming of, uh, uh, um, in the, the fanatical jihadis who are protesting will absolutely say put under Islamic control. We don't need a free Palestine. We need it free from non-Muslim control. That's what we need it from, right? They don't need, they don't need, to, they don't need independence of Palestinian people. That's not relevant, which is why the original Palestine National Movement was created in 1964. The PLO, Palestine Liberation Organization, was created by the Arab League in 1964 and it did not include the West Bank, and it did not include Gaza. It was the rest of Israel. So, and that's not, I'm not depriving, I'm not arguing against Palestinian national rights, and I'm not, I'm not arguing that they shouldn't try to find some kind of solution where there is a free Palestinian state if they could make peace with Israel, all that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm very supportive of finding some kind of way to do that if we could. But the point is that we, is that people are like, you know, why doesn't Israel just give them a land? The short answer is because their plan would be to destroy the state of Israel. Yeah. Not to raid the border and kill a few people, right? If Israel gives back land right now, the entire state of Israel is destroyed. The, the lands that it would give back, the West Bank overlooks, the, from there to the beach is nine miles at its narrowest. You can't defend territory like that. So this is the problem Israel's been facing from the beginning. This is the conflict. And this is what's motivating. This is what motivates hundreds of thousands of people to get out of the streets and shriek and scream. It's not about Palestinian rights. It's about the fact that it's Dar al-Islam.